Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the door strike on your dryer. The reason why you might have to do this is because it's lost or damaged, or because your door isn't properly latching shut. For this repair, we'll be using a pair of pliers and a Phillips head screwdriver. Warning: Before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is the dryer we're going to be using for this demonstration. It's a Frigidaire. Keep in mind, you might have one that's not quite exactly the same as this, but the same technique should still apply. So we're going to open up the door here. And we need to remove our dryer door. So in order to do that, we need to remove the two Phillips head screws right in here on the hinge. So now what we're going to do is just slightly lift up on the door and just wiggle it a little bit. It might be a little difficult to get the door hinge out, but you should be able to get it out. This piece right here, which fits nicely into that hole. So now we need to take the door apart. And to get it apart, we're going to take out the five screws around the perimeter. Now that we've got the screws out, we can separate the two door halves. So here's our door strike on this side. What I want to do is I'm going to use this pair of pliers and I'm going to squeeze it from the front end like so and that'll pinch in the other side and what I can do is I can angle it down and I'll take one side out and once that side is free I can just pull up and get the other side out. Now, you can grab your new OEM replacement door strike. If you don't have one already, you can find it on our online store. So to get the door strike in, all we have to do is line it up with that hole and just push it straight in. There we go. Now we can put our door back together. Now we can put the two halves of the door back together. So we're just going to line up screw holes. Okay. And once you've got everything lined up, you can screw it back together. Now that we've got the door put back together, we'll put the hinge back onto the frame here. And you're just going to line up that square peg with the square slot, drop it in, and then you're going to line up the screw hole and screw it back in. And once you've got that screwed back into place, you can close your door and your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, PCApplianceRepair.com. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.